Hello again. Uh, here we have the uh, Matchbox uh, number three, uh, Mercedes Ambulance, E Box and F Box variation. Uh, first issue, uh, as you can see there, comes with a, a water slide decal uh, door feature, and the later issues um, were uh, a label. So a lot of people ask about the difference between a decal and a, and a label. The decal is a bit like if you built Airfix kits um, in the day, you put this um, you know, decal sheet in a, in a bowl of water and eventually the decals would slide off. And these were manually placed on um, in the day at the factory or down the production line. So that's a water slide decal and uh, they are quite distinctive uh, between a label. Um, Quite often you get like a little bit of discoloration around the edges, okay, and also with the decal, you know, they sit completely flush. With the later labels, that literally, you know, that they were printed in a sheet, and they were self-adhesive. Uh, so again, manually, you know, the production line, they would, they would, they would have the um, uh, uh, the label sheet in front of them, and they'd peel the label off and then stick it on the doors. Um, Slight variations on colours, you know, you know, some people call it a very pale cream, an off-white. These ambulances were never white. They're, they're, they're an off-white and a very, very, very pale cream. Uh, so not too many differences, apart from the odd Stannard Guide variations, which I'm not going to talk about, because as far as my collections, because I, I didn't take too much noted of Stannard Guides. It was more about physical differences in the models and certainly physical differences um, in the artwork. Um, so that sort of covers the model really. Uh, boxes um, only came in, a, in an E4 box and an F box, the regular wheel uh, version. Um, this has the new model on the end flap. Uh, I'm not sure if it exists without the new model text. It, it may well do. Um, again if you've got one, you may, me, my email details are on the, on the, on the posting so uh, let me know. Now, very, very interestingly, um, you'll see on the e-box artwork, this doesn't match. And as you all know, I've always tried to find a matching model to, to box. This particular one actually shows chrome hubs. Now, that model, if it came in chrome hubs, what a fantastic piece. Somebody's got one out there. As I've always said, if it's drawn, it exists. Again, please, please, please be very, very wary of the bodgers and fakers. There's plenty of scumbags out there ruining our hobby that will transform a wheel onto this. So unless that comes from a, a total 100% reliable source, or again, if you see one, email me, I'll give you my feelings on it. But I've never seen one. And as I say, I've been collecting for well over 30 years, never seen that with, with Chrome hubs. But um, but one one was made because the artist had it and drew it. Um, also, you'll see, which a lot of people haven't really noticed, is that the box artwork actually shows clear windows rather than the very pale blue. So if there's one out there with the chrome wheels, if it's got blue windows, I'd be very very suspect of it. Um, so listen, guys. If you've got if you've got that model that shows in the box, wow, it's one it's one I I never I never found. Uh, moving on to the F box, um, again, slight variations on text uh, on the two F boxes. There's sort of four or five you know F type boxes, but they they are essentially the same. They have the same artwork, the same um, distinctive matchbox text across the top. Okay, but you will see text mainly along the bottom of the box that are slightly different. And there's two examples there. Um, okay, uh, with the F box as well. Okay, generally uh, matching colour there because you know the the E box showed the chrome hubs as I said, and we've gone to black plastic wheels. So that really sort of satisfied me. And you know I'm fairly convinced that the F box it does show a very very taint blue window. But these don't really exist with clear windows. So again, for matching artwork, uh, that was uh, that was um, okay for me. Uh, so that covers the the regular wheel uh, period, uh, and then we'll just move on to the super fast period. Now, as I've said quite a few times, uh, you super fast guys, 
uh, maybe looking at that and saying, well, that's not a, a huge representation of the super fast era of the Mercedes ambulance. Uh, but with this particular ambulance, uh, you know, a lot of these were, were twin pack issues. So the military versions and, and a few others you know, n never came in these, these G boxes. So I, I've really stayed with the, um, uh, the two main early super fast versions, which are the thin five spoke wheel, wide five spoke wheel, uh, lighter blue glass, darker blue bl uh, glass, uh, an off-white and a very pale cream and both of these have opening doors at the back uh, the twin pack ones generally you didn't have the opening doors and they wouldn't have come with the stretcher inside either um, two um, G boxes uh, basically the same but we have the new text and without the new text without the new text is actually a hard to find G box and you know I was quite lucky um, to get that um, and as I said before the regular wheel ones um, you've got Red Cross labels because the decals were sort of phased out in the late 60s. I mean, I can't give you an exact date, but you're sort of 68, 69, and label sheets uh, came in rather than decals. Uh, so that covers the, the number three ambulance. Um, and then we shall be moving on to the, to the Monteverdis. So uh, have a look at my next post. Bye-bye.